I might have accidentally found the best Sonos hack yet, and it's under £50. Right then guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm reviewing this little Symphonisk sound remote from IKEA, which I actually only discovered this week while picking up the Symphonisk Lamp Gen 2 to review. And I thought I needed to share this with you guys, as I am pretty impressed. So basically, this little puck looking product offers you similar controls to what you'll find on top of a Sonos speaker. Uh, so play pause, next track, previous track, and volume controls, but you can place this anywhere in your home and they're only 19 pounds. Now you can use them to control any Sonos speakers in your home and not just the IKEA Symphonisk range, but, and unfortunately there is a but, if you don't already have one, you will also need this trad free, and sorry if I pronounced that wrong, probably did. Um, and this is a gateway which connects up to your Wi-Fi network by ethernet in order to use the sound remote completely wirelessly. And it's also the same bridge for the IKEA home smart products that you might have, such as their smart lights or their blinds. So this trad free uh, gateway is 25 pounds and the remote is 19 pounds. So it's 44 pounds for both of these. Now, of course, there are other ways that you can control your speakers like the app, you can use voice control or the touch controls on the top of the speaker itself. And if you're happy using one of these methods, then this product might not be needed in your home. However, what I will say is that I found various ways that I think I can use this in my home and I really do like it. There have been similar products released in the past such as the iPort Express, I think it was called, and that let you save favorites on the keypad itself in addition to the controls, but that was 99 pounds and it was discontinued a while back. So taking a look at the remote itself then, this can be purchased either in a black or white color option. I personally prefer the black, and the trad-free gateway is only available in white, sadly. So one of these connects up to one of your Sonos speakers, um, and that will control that speaker and any others that are grouped with it. So if you've got different speakers in different zones, you'll need to purchase one of these for each zone. More on how that actually works in a little bit. Now you can put the remote on the wall if you wanted to using this sticky pad and wall plate that's supplied in the box with a couple of screws. Or I'm not sure if this is a hidden feature or not, but it's also magnetic. So you can literally just put this on your fridge or this metal bookcase that we have, which is actually quite neat. Once we did take the remote out of the box, it was smaller than I originally thought. And look, it is just a bit of plastic really. There's nothing fancy going on here, but I also don't think it needs to be. Now you will need to have a quite a tidy and organized house though, because if you're anything like me, things like this can very easily go missing, which I guess is the downside of being truly wireless. But if we put the cheap looking aesthetic to one side, the utility of this controller is actually quite good. Now I will admit, setup was a little bit frustrating, firstly because of this ridiculous screw on the back, because honestly, this is the tiniest screw I've ever seen in my life. I actually had to find a special screwdriver just to get the back off to insert the battery. Once you have done that though, you then connect the trad-free gateway to your router via ethernet, and then download the IKEA Home app, and I scanned the QR code before then adding the remote. Now it does immediately find the Sonos speakers in your network and it shows them all in the app and it gives you the choice of which speaker to connect the remote up to. What it'll do is it'll then control that speaker and any speakers which group up to it at the time, which is great. Just be aware though that the remote can only ever be bonded to one zone at a time. So if I give you a little demo then, we've got this set up on the office Wi-Fi, which includes a group of four speakers. All I can do is tap it once and it pauses it, no lag, which is good. I can then resume it by pressing it again. And it's back on. And then I can skip the track by double tapping. I could also change the volume just by... And then I can put it that back down again. And of course, it's really handy to have on your desk just in case you need to skip any of your colleagues' songs. Now, this is just the start of what you can do with this setup. It is also compatible with Amazon and Google Assistant, so you can use voice commands for control. It can also be integrated with an Apple HomeKit, so you can use Siri, and it can become part of any automations or controls that you use with that. I've also noticed that within the IKEA Home app, you can set scenes or timers with IKEA smart lights. Now, we've got one of these Symphonist lamps in the office behind me here. I must say, I'm tempted to get one of the IKEA smart bulbs to then get more of a smart home working with scenes and timers. Now, one little drawback to this Symphonist remote that I've found is that if you've cleared your Sonos queue, the button won't do anything because it's got nothing to resume. But if you're the sort of person who always listens to the same radio station, you're always gonna have something in your queue, then that won't be an issue. 
Now I would also love in the future if there was a feature where you could maybe press and hold the button to automatically start playing a favorited playlist like that little iPort Express I mentioned earlier. Hopefully they add something like this in the future. So where I think this will be useful is maybe next to your main seating area on your desk or wherever you walk in your house quite often, but not necessarily where you keep your speakers. You might like the idea of having a physical remote control for your Sonos system and you want a quicker method of controlling your speakers than having to pull out your phone and then open the Sonos app to control your speakers. As I showed, we've also got one in our office. When we arrive, we've actually kept it on the fridge. So when you come into work, first thing, you turn the coffee machine on, because coffee's always first, and then you press the button and it carries on where we finished off the day before. Very quick and easy. We always have one of these Sonos radio stations on in the office. Chill Beats is a particular favorite of mine, so it is seamless every day. Now guys, let me know in the comments if you're gonna be picking up one of these, uh, or if you think they're unnecessary. I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts. Cheers, guys. See you very soon.